Okay, Q. What are your sins? When I was about 13 or something, I uh, went fishing with my dad. I caught a fish and I was really happy about it. And I just felt like I had a connection with the fish. It just felt very nice in my hands. You know, the fact that I felt like it was chosen. I, it was chosen for me. And so when my dad told me to throw that fish back in the water, I couldn't do it. I was a stupid little kid. So I threw a rock in the water, pretending it was the fish, and I shoved the fish down my trousers. And this fish was not bigger than my dick when, it, when it's hard, but it was in there. And the fish, it got warm as we were going home. And I just remember my, I was like, I was getting a boulder while I was going home. And my dad was speaking to me and I'd like, I tried to shift the focus away from the, the, the warm fish. Because I could feel the fish kind of like shaking, dying, you know, on my dick. Oh. Like it was, it was like a, not a blowjob, but it just felt like it was, you know, it's last moments from my dick. And it felt really special to me, even though it is weird. And then I remember getting home quickly going to my room and I lied down I got naked I took my I remember taking my zip down and I saw the fish covered in cum that one moment just felt amazing to me the warmth of the fish and it was still kind of shaking like its nerves were kind of going off and it just felt so good and I remember I didn't want to let that fish go I couldn't let it go because I felt like I'm responsible for the fish and so I cleaned up the cum on it, I cleaned up myself, and I'd keep it in a freezer in my room. And whenever I'd get, you know, horny or stuff, I'd use the fish to like masturbate, and I'd come all over it again, again and again and again, almost up to a week until the fish was smelling at the house. And my dad would, you know, kind of clock on that something's going on with me. And he could tell from the smell, and he looked in my mini fridge, and he saw the fish, and I remember making up a lie, saying, "Oh, it's not, my, it's not my fish." You know, my friend gave it to me. It was like it's some kind of prank or whatever. And my dad kind of looking at me, disgusted, and I had to get rid of the the fish, which was, you know, obviously sad. And I feel I can't, you know, it affects me because I can't speak to my dad without thinking about the fish. And what's even worse than that, I can't jack off without thinking about the fish. Porn doesn't do it for me anymore. There's no fish related stuff, nothing. I don't like fish, the food that much. I prefer steak, medium rare. But the fish, something about it, whenever I jack off, I kind of feel the fish. Like, I, I'll never forget that feeling of it dying on my dick while I come down it. Oh, that's it, yeah. <laughs> Brad.